Facebook Right Hi, Dan Hi Instagram, Daniel here Facebook Daniel here, this is the yoga lunch box Second session Yeah Hello, hi, hi everyone Daniel here with the yoga lunch box Instagram and um, Oh, Gahara, hi <laughs> You're back Hello uh, So yes, yoga lunch box and so in in the in the comments tell me how you're feeling from one to five and if i don't know you or you don't know me just let me know where you're logging in from okay right hi rosie I'm not sure what's going on with um, Facebook. So I'm live on Instagram. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's Kazakhstan. You're, you're five today. Okay, great. So those who just joined, just tell me on a scale from <laughs> yes, Rosie, Malaysia. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 5, how are you feeling today? 1 being really low and 5 feeling really good. Okay, from a scale of 1 to 5, how are you feeling? Um, yeah, so 1 to 5. Gaohara, I said that right, right? You're a 5. And um, I'm not sure what's going on with Facebook. So if, if um, Facebook is not happening, then never mind. I'll just continue on with Instagram. Three and a half, Prakash. <laughs> All right. I would have to say I'm about the same. Maybe four. I'm a, maybe about four. Oh, Rosie is a five. So everyone's doing quite well today. And we'll just... Oh, it's three minutes already past the time. So um, let me just introduce myself. I'm Daniel, I'm a yoga teacher, I'm a personal trainer, and uh, I'm here in Malaysia. And I really strongly believe that we all, um, we all, oh, see my mind's gone blank. <laughs> that we all deserve to have, um, deserve to be able to self heal and to find joy, okay? But the thing is that most of the time, we don't have the tools for it, we don't know how, and most of the time, we don't even know that um, we are stressed, yeah? So, basically, if you're feeling like very reactive, if people start asking you questions and you start snapping at them, and uh, or if you're driving like really def offensively, not defensively, and um, or you get the stress at work and you take it home, you take it out on your partner or your pets or your children or your parents, um, that means that you are a little bit stressed and overwhelmed so um, I feel that it's my duty as a yoga teacher uh, to, to impart a little bit of mindfulness to you guys uh, and a little bit of yoga chair stretches along hi silver white feather I'll say hi to him okay <laughs> so um, to, to, to give you um, some mindfulness tools some chair yoga stretches uh, to help you relieve the stress in mind as well as body, okay? So, um, it's a concept. So, Yoga Lunchbox is a concept where I impart these tools to you. And you can take these tools um, separately or individual, you know, the breath, the grounding, the stretches. You can use it anytime you want. And you don't have to use it like in a whole session. You don't have to watch the whole session. You can just like maybe use the breath when you want or if you're feeling really scattered, you can use the grounding when you want. And um, basically it's all separate stuff. But I'm just going to give take 20 minutes or 30 minutes from your lunch hour and um, to teach you all these tools. 
So those who just joined, can you just tell me how you're feeling today on a scale from 1 to 5? 1 being really down and 5 being like really super good. Yeah? And then if you've just joined and I don't know you or you don't know me, tell me where you're joining from, okay? Which part of the world, which country, which city? I'm Daniel, I'm in Malaysia. It's all silent. <laughs> all right, okay. So what we, what we did um, last week is we learned how to ground in the feet, through the feet. So why you want to ground through the feet is, uh, not ground through the feet, why you want to ground is because you want to, um, you want to, great. Um, you want to distance yourself from the anxiety of the future and the stress and the worry of the past, yeah? So when you ground right now to what's happening right now, okay, what happens is that gives you distance from all the emotions that are coming, that are rising from the stress that you're, you're getting or you've got throughout the day. And then when you return to whatever it is that you're doing previously, um, you will find that you have a little bit more clarity, a little bit more calm, and um, why we also do a little bit of chair stretches is so that you can release any kind of um, stress that your body gets when you emotionally get stressed as well. So I think some of you may know, but not all of you may know that our body actually retains emotions. Um, so you can find that on Idea Fit Connect. I think on the American Council on Exercise, you can just do such as that you'll find that the fascia in our body retains emotion and um, yoga as well helps to release this emotion that's why they use yoga a lot for uh, trauma informed sessions um, i'm not a trauma informed yoga teacher but i do teach yoga <laughs> so um, if if you're from a trauma background um, i'm not really very well equipped to help you but i can help you relieve stress yeah so last week we did grounding the feet so we're going to start with that again. So you're going to sit like this, like me. Okay, I'm wearing casual Friday clothes. Okay, sit like that with your hands on your knees and you're going to close your eyes. Okay, while I cue you on what you're doing. Okay. So you're going to close your eyes and you're going to bring all your awareness to your feet. Beginning with your toes, yeah? So all awareness to your feet, beginning with awareness to your toes. And your toes, try and spread them out, yeah? Try and spread out the toes, even if you're wearing shoes. Just spread out the toes and just bring awareness to all the toes. From the big toe, right leg, to the big toe, left leg. Big toe right, all the way to the little toe. Big toe left, all the way to the little toe. Okay, now from there bring awareness to the balls of the feet okay so meaning the spaces that large padding between the toes and before the arch of the feet
then from there awareness to the spaces around the arches of the feet Then moving back towards the heels. So now we're going to move towards the breath. Okay, so you're going to bring awareness to the breath, and the breath is what you use to center yourself. So we've already grounded. You've already brought yourself to your the current moment. Which is your feet, and then now you're going to bring yourself to your breath. So inhale as you inhale. Just imagine the breath draws down through the center from your nostrils down the spine all the way down to your lungs and maybe your belly. And then you as as you exhale, just draw the navel in, draw the belly down. Okay, pushing up the organ, pushing the organs in, and the lungs. Um, upward and the breath outward. So try and get the breath nice and long in a steady movement, and I will cue you to a five-second inhale and a five-second exhale. All right. So exhale fully now, and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, let go of deliberate breath focus. Just go back to normal breath cycles. Okay, and then you can slowly open up your eyes and join me on the chair. So today, as promised, um, I'm going to teach you chair sun salutes. You will need a stable chair. So today, I'm going to show you a stable chair, but I'll be using my sofa at the back. Okay, so I'll show you how to use it on the sofa. It's the same thing actually. So you want a stable chair like this. You don't want a chair which is which has wheels, yeah. If you have chairs which has wheels, then what you do is you push it against something stable and sturdy like a wall or like this sofa. I'll be using the sofa here, okay. In case you are at work and you've got a sofa or you're at home and you've got a sofa, the most important thing is what you're on. Even if it's a stool, it's stable, okay. And secondly, that your feet can touch the ground like mine. So if your heels are lifted up, you need to really sit off on the edge, okay, and make sure that um, your feet are gro well grounded. Okay, before we move into the chair sun salutes, what we're going to do is just going to stretch out a bit. So hand to heart. Okay, ready? Inhale, lift your arms up. So just reach upward and exhale. Place hands on knees. Two more times. Hand to heart. Inhale, you reach your arms upward. Exhale, place hands on knees. Third one, hand to heart. And inhale, reach your arms up. Okay, like you're slicing the air. And exhale, hands on knees. Now place your right hand either on the edge of the seat or behind you, and left hand on your right knee. And turn twist to your right. Look over your right shoulder. Again, make sure that both feet are well grounded, and you activate the core. Okay, so that stabilizes you. 
Okay, now inhale, face forward, and you're going to change sides. Left hand behind you, right hand to knee, turn, twist to your left, looking over your left shoulder. Okay, inhale, face forward, and we're going to start with the chest and salutes. We're only going to do three rounds here, yeah, because I know it's your lunch time, and we don't want to take too much time, but just to stretch out. So, first move, you can watch first, so I'll do four rounds, you can join me for the third, second, oh sorry, <laughs> second, third and fourth round, okay? So first round I'll do, you watch. Okay, ready? Inhale, lift your arms up, your arms will be lifting up. Exhale, you place your hands on your knees. Inhale, you lift your right leg up, straighten up your right leg, open up those toes. Exhale, place the right foot down. Inhale, stretch your left leg out, curl the toes back, toes open. Exhale, place the left foot down. Inhale, lift up your spine. Exhale, fold forward, drop your hands and head down. Okay, inhale, twist to the right. So you're going to lift your right hand up, twist to your right, looking up to the right fingers. Exhale, place the right hand down. Inhale, lift the left hand up, twist to the left, look to the left fingers. Exhale, place left hand down. Inhale, rise up with your arms up. Exhale, place your hands on your knees. Okay, so relatively okay -ish, simple. Okay, hand to heart. So we're going to go um, three more rounds, right? You can join me. So ready, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, place your hands on your knees. Inhale, lift your right foot up, stretch your right leg out. Exhale, place your right foot down. Inhale, lift your left leg up, stretch your leg, left leg out. And exhale, left foot down. Inhale, lift up your spine. Exhale, fall forward, drop your hands and your head down. Inhale, lift right hand up, twist to the right, looking up. Exhale, place right, right hand down. Inhale, lift left hand up, twist to your left. Exhale, place left hand down. Inhale, rise up, lift your arms up. Exhale, place hands on your knees. Uh, this is the second one for you, hand, hand to heart. Get ready, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, place hands on your knees. Inhale, stretch out your right leg. Exhale, place the right foot down. Inhale, stretch out your left leg. Exhale, place the left foot down. Inhale, lift up your spine. Exhale, fall forward. Drop your hands and your head down. Inhale, twist to the right with your right hand hand up. Exhale, place the right hand down. Inhale, twist to your left. Exhale, place the left hand down. Inhale, rise up with your arms up. Exhale, place your hands on your knees. Final one, hand to heart. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, place your hands on your knees. Inhale, lift your right foot up. Exhale, place the right foot down. Inhale, lift your left foot up. Exhale, place the left foot down. Inhale, lift up your spine. Exhale, fall forward. Drop your head and your hand down. Inhale, lift your right hand up. Twist to the right. Exhale, place the right hand down. Inhale, lift the left hand up. Twist to the left. Exhale, place the left hand down. Inhale, rise up. With your arms up. Exhale, place your hands on your knees. Okay, so we'll just do one more stretch on the chair. So cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. If you find that your right knee is riding really high, then you, you, you just do your best to stay here, or you can just straight uh, walk the left leg out a bit more, yeah? So that the knee drops down a bit more. So if you're feeling any pain in the joints, joints will be ankle, knee, hip, uh, then you may want to stop doing what you're doing. Uh, if you're feeling any soreness in the muscles, which would be the calf, uh, quads, hamstring, okay, front thigh, back thigh, and butt, that's fine, yeah? So make sure you're stable, 
and you can just go as low as you want. So this is fine. If you can, you can go lower and just drop the head down. And we're staying here five times. Four, three, two, one. Okay, slowly sit yourself up. And we're going to change sides. So uncross the leg, cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. Again, if your knee is riding up, walk the leg out. Or if you can, um, my left hip is less tight than my right, so you can just place the knee like that. Okay, keep the foot flexed. You can just move forward this way if you feel the stretch, or you can go as low as you want. So um, those wearing heels, just be careful of the right leg. Yeah? Make sure that you're grounded and you don't and you feel stable. Four more counts. Three, two, one. Okay, inhale, sit up and release the leg. Okay, we'll end the, uh, the movement session <laughs> with just three deep breaths, okay? So you can close eyes, you can have hand to heart or you can have hands and knees. Just taking one inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, final one. Inhale, and exhale. Alright, so I'm moving forward so I can see you because I'm not that young, right? Um, do you guys have any questions for me? You can write in a comment or you can private message me if you have any uh, questions relating to stress management, relating to hygiene, relating to stress management, relating to stretching. Um, please do message me. And your homework would be basically, um, whenever you feel stress, try to ground, okay? Um, whenever you stre feel stress, just take a step back and just focus on your breath, yeah? Namaste Gahara, yeah. <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, um, if you want to learn more about grounding, about more about the breath, um, I've got a free ebook which is in the link in Instagram. On Facebook, I'll write in the comments later on if Facebook is actually working. Um, I'd like to apologize to everybody. I was a little bit harassed at the beginning of the session because I don't think I'm live on Facebook. I'm live on Instagram, <laughs> okay? But um, yes, thank you so much for your time. Um, I look forward to seeing you. The next one will be next week. So it's going to be a weekly thing from now on because I did get quite a lot of comments that a lot of people said that they wanted to join. I know some didn't get to join in the end because of um, other commitments, but that's fine. Yeah, You can watch the replays. The re replays will be available both on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Or you can even go to my website, which is danyoga.fit, right? So um, I see no comments. I see no questions. Everyone's doing good. Give me a thumbs up if you're doing good. Thanks, Kareen. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, Karine is a really good yoga teacher if you need her and you're in Cyber Jaya. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Get in touch with her. I hope you're doing well, Karine. Alright. Alright, everyone. See you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm going off live now. How do I do that? <laughs> oh, goodness. I've totally forgotten how. Uh, do I click? Um, what do I click to get off live? Do you guys know? Alright. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, Rosie. I think I clicked the cross. Yes.